New Mexico's underground nuclear waste repository had safety problems long before a February 14th radiation leak. The Department of Energy says a fire nine days before that leak was caused by and made worse by a number of safety problems. That report was released today. Reporter Bob Martin has details on the fire investigation and a look at the search for answers in that leak. Mining the salt to create tunnels in the ancient seabed more than 2,000 feet underground is tough, dirty work. Machines and workers get filthy fast. Nine days before something caused a radiation leak down here, a salt truck caught fire, filling the mine with thick black smoke. More than 80 workers donned emergency gear and were hauled to the surface. Some heroically stayed behind to make sure everyone was out. Department of Energy investigators lauded workers but said it was all preventable, caused and exacerbated by many lapses in safety procedures. They say the 29-year-old salt truck was not being maintained properly, leaking fluids built up in the engine area and were not cleaned off. Other vehicles were found in the same condition. Emergency procedures were not followed, blamed on inadequate drills. Some alarms were delayed or could not be heard. Some workers had trouble getting breathing masks on. Bad ventilation control made smoke worse in the underground. Some signs marking escape routes were blocked from view. Investigators blame the contractor, Nuclear Waste Partnership, and DOE managers for failing to detect the problems. At a Thursday night town hall, Carlsbad DOE manager Joe Franco was briefly overcome when discussing the safety lapses. I'll tell you that uh, when I started to go through those, uh, I, I took it personal. Franco pledged WIP will learn and get better. Meanwhile, the quest to find out what caused the massive underground radiation leak about half a mile from the fire site and nine days after the fire continues. Because of contamination, no one has been underground yet to find out what happened. Probes sent down two shafts show there is a safe area where a re-entry team can go. Before that happens, WIP miners will evaluate the integrity of those two shafts to make sure that when a crew goes to the bottom, they will be able to get back out. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13. Those WIP miners plan to inspect the integrity of those two entry shafts this weekend. If they are safe, a team may begin to explore the lower tunnels at WIP within a week or two.